Hey guys, it's Ro Santana from WorkSafe Invest Entrepreneurs, and today I'm going to focus on two important things that you guys need to understand when it comes to trading. Two important terms that is going to help you identify potential when it comes down to investing in a stock. So the two terms that I want you guys to focus on today are volume and level two. These are two things that you guys need to be familiar with because depending how you use them, they will help you or do damage to you when it comes down to stock trading. First term that I want you guys to become familiar with is volume. And volume is a very easy concept to understand. Volume just means the number of transactions that take place in a particular stock in a given period. In simple words, it's just the amount of buying and selling that takes place in a stock in a given time. Why volume is so important? It's very simple. The reason that volume is so important is because it gives you an idea on how much attention a lot of buyers or sellers are putting in a particular stock. The higher the volume, the higher the demand and interest of a particular stock. The lower the volume means that not that many people are paying attention to. So when it comes down to trading, people usually are more attracted to stocks that have a high relative volume because it means that it has the likelihood of moving and changing price. Whereas if you have a stock that has a low price, a low, a low volume, the likelihood of changing price is very minimum. So that's why volume is so now, important. Now let's focus on level two. What is level two? Level two is a particular tool that brokerages gives you to show you two important things that help you when it comes down to buying or selling a stock. It shows you two prices, the ask and the bid. The ask is the, the holders of shares that want to sell their shares, but are asking for a particular price. Whereas the bid price is people that are interested of buying shares from the people that have these shares. However, they are placing an amount of price that they are willing to pay. Which means, let's say that you are trying to buy a stock called ABC, and you check uh, the the transactions that are taking place and you want to make sure if you are investing in a good quality stock so you go to the level two and you see the ask and you see that the people that have the shares that want to get rid of them sell them are selling ABC for five dollars and fifty cents but when you look to the other side and look to the bid price you notice that the people that are interested in the stock are willing to only pay four dollars in 70 cents so this gives you a sense of how the market is working and it makes you take better decisions when it comes down to buying and investing in the stock market now that you guys have become familiar with the two terms volume and level two and you guys now know the utility and the use that us traders give to them I want to take you guys now from theory to practice because the point of these videos is not only for me to talk 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 and talk I want to show you guys the theory and then take you guys to the practice so when it comes your turn to trade and invest in the stock market you already have a foundation on how to do it so like I told you guys that I was going to do I was going to take you guys from theory to practice so now I'm showing you the screen of my thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade this is the brokerage that I use to buy and sell my stocks just in case I'm not getting paid to promote their platform it's just the platform that I use to trade, nothing else. So the, remember what I told you guys, uh, volume and level two. So first I'm gonna show you the volume. You see these blue lines in the chart? This is, this is the volume. So another thing I want you guys to see is the volume in here, you can see the information, the volume and the number of transactions that took place of a particular time. And here you can see the time and the date. So let's go to this. So as you can see, as I told you that the higher the volume, the higher the likelihood of a stock price being changed, usually up. So as you can see here, the stock started moving, started with, with a low volume of 1400, see here, 1400, which was, it was nothing practically. So look at this. Then it went from 1,400 to 46,000. 
the level of volume grew exponentially. So the price of the stock. See how high it went right away? It went from $7.83 to a high of $8.22. That's a high growth, but because of the level of the volume. So look, the higher the, the, the level grew, the higher the price of the of the stock grew as well. So look at this incredible run. So the, it went from 56,000 to 130,000. Look this push. It went from 823 to all the way to $8.81 and then the volume even got higher from 130,000 it went to 169,000 and from there it went all the way to $9.41. Look how it the uh, how it started from seven dollars all the way to nine all because of the volume and as you can see you see how uh, as soon as the volume started to decay the price of the stock started to it began doing the same see as soon as it went over high of a volume of 169,000 it dropped down to a hundred and three thousand and as and when that happened the price of the stock went from nine to eight dollars and ninety and eighty four cents so the lower the volume, the lower the price of the stock. See how it kept going, and then here it got a little bit, a little push, and it and it, and it grew a little bit. But as you can see after this, after ten in the morning, the time you can see it here, after ten, the volume wasn't it wasn't strong enough to make a move. So as you can see, for the, most of the day, the stock just was dead. And that's what I was telling you guys about, that when there's not much volume, the stock usually just doesn't move. And this makes a lot of investors to not even pay attention to a stock because it's just not going to, uh, the price action is just not going to be strong enough. And it just doesn't make sense to invest in something that is not going to move. So that's the purpose of volume. Now I'm going to show you guys the level two. So here, you can see here, the level two. So when I click here, remember the ask and the bid here. See the ask and the bid. Ask the price that the shareholders are willing to sell their shares for, and the bid the in, the buyers are interested of in buying these shares here, but at the price that they want to. So the two of them have a uh, an ongoing battle between this is the amount of uh, this is the price that I'm willing to sell you my shares, but no. This is the amount that I'm willing to get for your shares. So it's, it's like a, uh, a battle between the two. So this, um, what I did, because I don't like the fact that it looks too small a chart, what I did was I moved the level two from here to here to make it easier. I'm going to show you so you guys can see it's the same information. It's just in a different place. See? But the information that is here is here as well. So I just don't like it because it looks too small. So it's going to look like this because it looks way better. So this uh, level two, it just helps me. It helps any trader to understand the sentiment of the market, of the stock in a particular moment. So as you can see here, uh, people are selling their shares for $8.34. However, the other, the other side is just willing to pay a minimum of $8.34. Five cents, and a maximum of eight dollars and thirteen cents. Now, why this is so important? I'm gonna give you a vivid example. I remember I was trading the stock, and I was trying to get in, but I was too um, skeptical in my decision to invest in the stock. And what I did, I used the level two to help me and guide me to the right direction. So I remember uh, the ask price was. Four dollars and fifty cents, and then I saw that the bid price was five dollars, which was way higher than the 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 price that the ask were selling their stock for. And in addition to that, I paid attention to the volume, and I saw that there was a huge volume. It was around uh, probably two million or five million. The volume that's how high it was, and that's why a lot of people were willing to pay an extra. Uh, amount to get these shares because there was a high likelihood 
that the stock was going to go up. And remember, when you buy low and you sell high, that's when you make profit. So this is what I wanted to show you guys, the, the useful of volume and level two, how they work and how you can use them for your success when you finally take the step to start trading. I hope that after this video you guys become more familiar with the terms volume and level two and the reason on why us traders use it. And again, if you have any questions or if something was not clear enough in this video, please let me know in the comment section and I'll promise to make it up and answer any doubt that you guys may have. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon.